hello and welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is faith and in today's video i'll show you how to make this beautiful seashell bracket that fits a size small in this video but if you want any size or if you want to adjust it to any size just check the description box below i'll explain to you how to go about it okay for this video you'll need a weight three yarn or any yarn of your choice three millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors and a tape measure but the tape measure is optional you don't necessarily need it okay now let's just head over to the video to begin you make a slip knot and then you chain 16 stitches plus one so one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. When you have your sixteen stitches, add one. So you have seventeen stitches. Then yarn over, and on your second stitch from the hook, place a half double crochet. So grab yarn and pull through all the three loops. Then you repeat this until you reach the first chain that we did. When you reach your last stitch, you'll have 16 half double crochet stitches and then you turn your work, chain one and place two half double crochet in the same stitch that you chained one on. Now this will act as our increase. The next stitch, turn your work and then on the back loop, place half double crochet. Then half double crochet in the back loop of the next stitches until you reach the last stitch, placing the last half double crochet in the full stitch. When you reach the last stitch, place it in the whole stitch, not in the back loop, just use the full stitch. Chain one and then turn your work. Now from this next row, just continue with what you did. Place half double crochet in that full stitch and then continue in the back loop only. When you reach the last stitch, place two half double crochet in the full stitch. So chain one, turn your work, place two.
two half double crochet in the first stitch and then half double crochet in the back loop only placing one in the last stitch our bra cap has two parts the top part and the bottom part the bottom part will be a constant while the top part will be having increases just continue increasing one in every row until you reach your 11th row if you're working for a size small or until you the height of your middle part until you reach the height of your middle part before we start decreasing Now I'm here at my 11th row and what we'll do next is decreases. Now on the 12th row it will be a constant row. You won't put any increase or any decrease. So I'll place our first one. One. And then the next stitch place in the back loop only. Two, three, four, just continue working the back loop only until you reach your last stitch, placing half double crochet in the full stitch. chain one and turn now our next row will be a decrease row start with a half double crochet and then continue with half double crochet in the back loop only till you reach the tip of your bra top and then i'll show you what to do And when you reach the top and you have only two remaining place your last half double crochet in the second last stitch and then you leave the last stitch don't work on the last stitch now that will be our decrease turn your work chain one and then on the you skip the first stitch on the second stitch place half double crochet so our pattern here our decrease pattern we won't be working on the last stitch when you're coming from the bottom and the first stitch when you're going down now just continue with half double crochet in the back loop only When you reach the end, chain one and turn your work. Place half double crochet in the first stitch 
and half double crochet in the back loop only until you reach the second last stitch place your half double crochet in that stitch and leave the last stitch don't work on the last stitch So from this row you'll be having a repeat of row 13 and row 14. Just continue working those two rows until you reach your 24, sorry, 22nd row. I'm on my 22nd row what I'll do I'll chain one and then I continue with the pattern skip the first stitch place a half double crochet in the second stitch and then work half double crochet in the back loop only until I reach my last stitch When you reach the end, place half double crochet in that last stitch. Now we're through with our top, and as you can see, it has the shell like structure. So, our next step will be to make the decreases at the bottom so that it can have the curvy shape. Okay, you need to chain one. And then on the first and the second row of half double crochet, you place two single crochet together. Continue with one single crochet next row and then two single crochet together until you reach the last two stitches or two rows where you'll place your last two single crochet together. Now in total you'll have 14 single crochet stitches. Now you can see our bra cup or our curved shape has already formed and the next step will just to place the aging or to work on the aging. 
you can opt to do this or not to do this depending on your preferences but i really love a neat edge so i'll turn my work towards the edge and i work single crochet all the way to the last or to the la the first row so just place single crochet in every stitch till you reach the top part of that bracket When you're at the top, place your last single crochet, then you chain one and you continue with single crochet along the top part. Now to do this, place one single crochet in, it, in one row and the next row place two single crochets and alternate that until you reach the middle part. one single crochet and then two in the next row one then two in the next row Now when you reach the middle part, you'll chain one and then you continue with the other side. Just continue please alternating between one single crochet in each row and two single crochet in the next row. When you reach the other end, chain one and place one single crochet in each of the next 16 stitches. Okay, I'm now done with my row of single crochets and as I said you can also leave it at this point but I love a neater edge as you can see this other bracket has some kind of ribbing at the edge so what we'll do we'll come back with a reverse single crochet now just chain one And then in the same stitch place a reverse single crochet. Come back to the previous stitch and then continue with that pattern until you reach the tip. Chain one and continue with the reverse single crochet to the bottom 
or to the last stitch at the base. Chain one and place single crochet in the next 14 single crochets here at the bottom or at the base area. I'll make a slip stitch to make that end neater, then turn your work, chain 3, and double crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. So our double crochets will be on our right side, not the wrong side. Chain one and now cut your yarn. So your bracket is done. And as you can see, you have a very beautiful shell or seashell bra. Now, this one is very fitting, the aging will support you. Now, the next step is just to place your straps at the neck and at the bottom part.
so thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet leave a comment you can share it with your friends and then click on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time a video is uploaded thank you